dear students in today's lecture we will study about soil borne diseases the soil borne diseases or illnesses uh, are caused by soil pathogens now these soil pathogens this can be soil bacteria it can be soil parasites so diseases that are ca caused by these soil bacteria or soil parasites we call them as soil born diseases you know that this soil it serves as an ecosystem for diverse microbes these microbes perform various roles and their roles range from useful microorganisms in biological and geological processes to dangerous transmitters of disease uh common soil borne diseases are we are having tetanus botulism silicosis etc then let's come to tetanus what this tetanus is this tetanus also called lockjaw is a serious infection caused by clostridium tetani this bacteria it produces a toxin that affects the brain and the nervous system leading to stiffness in the muscles and if this bacteria clostridium tetani spores are deposited in the wound if uh, it spores are deposited in the wound uh, the neurotoxin interferes with the nerves that control the muscle movement and we get problem in the muscle movement and the infection can cause severe muscle spasms serious breathing difficulties and can ultimately be fatal although tetanus treatments exists but it is not uh, uniformly effective uh, only best way to protect against tetanus is to take the vaccine this bacteria it exists in soil manure and other environmental agents a person who experiences a puncture wound with a contaminated object can develop the infection uh, which can affect the whole body and it can be fatal in united states there are about 30 cases a year uh, there are mostly people who have not been vaccinated against tetanus or who have not kept uh, up their boosters shots every 10 years and this tetanus it is a medical emergency it will need aggressive wound treatment and antibiotics now some facts on tetanus tetanus it is caused by clostridium tetani bacterium the early symptoms of tetanus include diarrhea fever and headache early diagnosis predicts better outcome in next lecture we will study about symptoms of tetanus